Today's such a beautiful day. There's my boy Rob. We're gonna take the Camaro out. Uh, gonna go shoot some footage today. Hopefully the Camaro. Uh, I have a couple drones that I think you guys may or may not know about. So I'm gonna see if we can go get some cinematic shots of the Camaro. And uh, this guy Tyler actually messaged me one day and uh, he's got a Subaru with a V8 LS swap. And uh, he asked me if I wanted to shoot it. And I said, absolutely, let's do it. So we're gonna go do that. And uh, Rob's my cameraman today. Say hey, Rob. Hey. Oh man, I love the downshifts on the ZL1. You guys have a listen to this. There's probably gonna be so much noise because our windows are open, but. Woo! <laughs> oh man, it's so bright today. Turn on to a street here that's got a little bit higher of a speed. If there's no cars in front of me, you know, I'll try giving it a little bit again here. See what the big saddle one's all about. This is a fun, fun car, and uh, if I was to sell it, you guys may or may not know this, but I did have it up for sale, and uh, if it was to sell, I'm not gonna lie, I'd be pretty sad, and I'd probably miss this car, but you know, eventually it'd probably get something a bit cooler or a little bit different, who knows? What do you think about this car, Rob? It rips, love this thing. It is, it's a lot of fun. I've, I've always had so much fun with this car, and uh, it's been well looked after. I know I have fun, and whatever, drive it hard on the road course now, but that's what it was meant to do. It was meant to drive it. So here's stop number one for us. We're at St. Patel Park in Winnipeg, going to meet up with this Subaru with the LS swap and uh, gonna shoot a review on it while I'm here. Man, this car is so stiff. <laughs> this car is not made for Winnipeg roads <laughs> at all. Feel every bump. It is, it's so bad. Oh, at least this is a smooth section here. Here. Yeah, I'll ask X sticker on the back bumper. I wanted to say thank you so much for reaching out to me and letting me shoot your car today. And for you guys at home too, if you're like Tyler or you're interested in me shooting your car, be like Tyler. I got a quick story to tell you before we get into this car, but Tyler shot me a DM on Instagram and was like, hey man, I saw your vids. I see what you do. I love the stuff you're shooting. Uh, I have this Subaru. Do you have any interest in shooting my car? So he reached out to me and I said, absolutely, man. That'd be super great. And now we're here obviously talking about his Subaru. So we got the Subaru shoot out of the way. I gotta say thanks again to Tyler, man. That was super cool of him to reach out to us and uh, let us go shoot that car. But yeah, so Rob and I are gonna go grab a bite to eat uh, and then go fly some drones and see what that's like. Maybe we get some cool shots of the Camaro, some cinematic shots, maybe not. Maybe we'll crash a drone, who knows? We'll see. We'll see. <laughs> Either way though, stay tuned guys. We'll see what we get up to. Just gonna grab something to eat here quickly for uh, continuing along. Oh man, five guys, so good. Doesn't look like much, but man, is it tasty. Okay, so we're gonna go fly uh, just south of the city. It's a place called St. Norbert Monastery. That's usually one of the places I like to go fly the FPV drones just because it kind of offers a cool background. But yeah, we'll take the Camaro, see if we can get some scenic shots while we're there too. And uh, yeah, it's gonna be Rob's first time flying an FPV drone. You excited? Can't wait. Yeah, it should be pretty awesome. We'll show you guys the footage too. So we're out at uh, the St. Norbert Monastery. Uh, which I've usually do some drone flying at and uh, the place is actually pretty busy. I guess it's like the perfect fall day. There's like no wind, uh, the weather's incredible and there's tons of people out getting pictures taken and stuff like that. So uh, I'm really just gonna probably fly around the grounds a bit because the actual ruins on the building here, I'm just gonna turn the camera around. There's a uh, kind of like old ruins that you can kind of fly through, which is pretty cool. Maybe we'll get some of it done, uh, but maybe we'll just see if we can get some, some cinematic shots with the Camaro. Uh, but yeah, let's take a look. Such a nice day out. I cannot believe how incredible of a day this is. Absolutely amazing. Look at that. Perfect. There's no wind. There's Rob flying away. It's so funny when people are wearing goggles though, because you can really just fuck around. Oh, sorry. <laughs> sorry about that. <laughs> 
here's Rob trying to fly through the picket fence here. <laughs> Thread the needle here. Yeah. Thread the needle with the with the FPV. There you go, Rob. Good job. <laughs> it's pretty fun. It's very fun. And like, yeah, the shots, the pictures, everything. I wish there was nobody here, Rob, because what I used to like to do is I come through the, that fence line there and then rip it up through the ruins. Like there's that big circle in the middle oh, of yeah, the monastery yeah, yeah. and go flying through there and then fly through all the walls and all the buildings. And oh, it's pretty cool. Is it running low battery or no? Uh, it's 30. Just... You fly around, just practice. Put it through like the bushes and stuff like that. Or like, yeah, like through that little entry there. It's just fun oh. to play around. It's cool too because it kicks up the leaves when you get low on the ground because it's so powerful. Look at the shot quality. Man, that's sick. It's like a little fighter jet. It is. It's literally like, that's what I said. I, I did a review of it on the Vada on another channel of mine. Oh. What was that? Was that sending yeah, you return to home? So push the button. I should cancel it out. Uh, but yeah, I was doing a review of it on it. And that's what I was saying. I said, I've never flown a fighter jet, but I would assume that this is what it probably feels like. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, you don't look the coolest, but <laughs> <laughs> it's not about the looks of this thing, you know, it's about the performance. There it goes there. Look at the leaves that blows up, that's so cool. You can't see it as good as I can, but uh, I just press this you uh, hold the lock button and it'll land itself. There's the little Avada land and Okay, so here we go. I'm flying the Vada. You can see if we get some cinematics of the car. There you go guys so there's some drone footage for the camaro uh rob's first time flying fpv what do you think rob it's excellent you can stand amazing. a little bit closer to me you know? oh, okay sorry <laughs> no it's an amazing experience I, i've never really flown it's almost like a, a real life video game you know very it immersive is. and you get those goggles on and all the stuff you can kind of do it makes you feel like you're a real pilot almost it is unreal it's unreal experience it's so crazy and like look at the shot that it puts out this is a mini 3 pro that we're flying right now so hopefully we got some cinematic shots of it i'll just put it up above us yeah, not a, yeah, not a problem. But yeah, like look at that shot on this guy too. It's just unreal. Quality and everything, smooth panning. Yeah, it's just phenomenal. Yeah. So guys, if you are checking this out, obviously feel free to hit that subscribe button, follow along on our channel. We're trying to up our game, not only in the air, but also uh, in video production. So Absolutely. follow along and hopefully we can bring you some cool stuff.